I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. We're just about set to get this one underway. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. James, a guy that quarterbacks like you, Herbie, have got to love. You get it somewhere in the area, he's going to pull it in. And, and really, if specifically looking at him and the relationship that he has with his quarterback, it just seems like these guys have spent hours working in the offseason trying to develop that chemistry because there are a lot of times where the quarterback's anticipating and throwing the football before this receiver's out of his break. That just shows me great communication and great chemistry between a quarterback and an outstanding wide receiver. Here he goes. They go to the left for a nice game. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there. The quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. Steps out of bounds at the 39. That makes it second and six. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. From their own 39-yard line, it's third down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's out of bounds around the 43-yard line. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He really got a hold of that one. He fields the punt at the 13. He's tackled at the 29. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. made at the 41. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. From their own 41 yard line. First down. There's a strike complete. He's down. That'll make it second and seven. There was some movement on the line. Four, blue, four. Ball start, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 40. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. Warren gains about a yard on the play. Quickly incomplete. No, was the intended receiver on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the second. And he's taken down to the 38 yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Switch, switch, switch. And he throws it away. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 41. Roger, Roger. Check two, check two, check two. Set. 
Slings it to his fullback. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 31. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. Inside you. And they'll bring him down behind the line. One-yard loss for the halfback. This is the ninth play of this drive. Makes it to the 22-yard line. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. And it's through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. Gets out to about the 21. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Run up the middle. That's a game of four. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25 yard line. He guns it to the right. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. Touchdown, K State. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 80-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now, 7-3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wildcats are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, right? you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like that. Fires it out. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. They'll run it. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He's got it with room to run. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. Third 
They're not quite in field goal range, so this is a pretty important play on this drive. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 7-3, Kansas State. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws middle to the tight end. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. That makes it second and two. They come out in an empty backfield. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. in the open. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. A nine play, 75 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tackled after a decent pickup. Second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Mike one, Mike one. And two, connect. Oh, no, no, no. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Forward to about the 30. Tackle made at the 31 yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. West Virginia has a three-point lead. He steps out at the 35. He gets hit out of bounds at the 42. So the pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. How about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He goes out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and six. Pulls in the pass and steps out. Complete for six yards, and that's good for a first down. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Game 
gains his way to the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. West Virginia is up a field goal. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at the 18. to the end zone. They can't connect. Incomplete. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away. And they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Throws complete, he's got room to work. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. the 32-yard line. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. And this one is a beauty. Brought down at the 36. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. West Virginia is up by six. Scrambling around, and they got it. Call it a loss of six yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. The 40. Looks left, finding his tailback. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44. Gain of four yards. That'll make it fourth and two. Brooks back to return it. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he 
throws right away. And he can't make the catch. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Delayed handoff, and he's not going to get back to the line. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. goes at the 26. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire them up. The Mountaineers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Oh, excellent punt. He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possession. West Virginia, up six. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Fourth down. Brooks, back deep to return. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. A great first half comes to a close. West Virginia's lead is six. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard-nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but. It, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast-paced, up-tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 28. The Mountaineers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Let's it fly. Makes the grab and steps out right away. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Fires that quickly incomplete. Man, 
Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. And he hits him hard at the 49. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Gets it. He's in space. Brought down around the 44-yard line. Number 29 makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike 1, Mike 1. Red 2. Makes the catch and look out. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 23 yard line. He's tackled at about the 21. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. This is the eighth play of this drive. Deep pass to the end zone. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It has the distance, and it's good! Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive length strength. 13-10, West Virginia. Kansas State is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He wants it all. The defender had it and then dropped it. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. West Virginia is up by three. Caught with room to work. Steps out of bounds at the 29-yard line. catch and he's got room here they'll bring him down right around the 36 yard line he's taken down right around the 38 yard line He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 38. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. It's the sophomore that's got it. Knocked out of bounds at the 50. Go back to him on a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. Call a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Come on, dude. 
Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 49-yard line. West Virginia has a three-point lead. Runs it, and he's stopped short of the line of scrimmage. Loss of one yard on the play. That brings up third and 12. It's the ninth play of the drive. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled at the 46-yard line. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run there. Vaughn gains seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Play fake. He guns it. Caught. Tackle at the 42-yard line. That's a good game of 31 yards. First down. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Mike one, Mike one. Three, nine. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Gets it out quickly, and he's taken down around the 29-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 13-10, Mountaineer. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Mike one, Mike one. Go four, green nine. Play action. Runs with it, and he's got room. Diving for extra yardage. From the 19-yard line, first down. after a decent run up the gut. The 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. They'll get him in the backfield. That's a loss of five yards. That brings him second and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He fights forward to about the seventh. Let's see how the quarterback handles this one. It's third and goal from the seven. Fires quick. He catches another. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. It's 
so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Kansas State to the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Made at the 36. Just under three to go in regulation. Swings it out there incomplete. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. That'll bring up fourth and one. Brooks will be the return man. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third. They're about four yards away here on third down. the 39-yard line. Noel gets him about three yards with a completion. West Virginia is going to take their first time out of the half. Just under two minutes in the game. <laughs> Tackle made at the 25. Well, we're getting late in the fourth quarter. Kirk, you got to make the most of every possession you have. James Legend now has got a chance to grow if they can get him the football. Well, I'd be throwing the football his way early and often during this drive. You never know what can happen once the football gets in his hands. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're oh, one ball. play away from a very different ball game. Quick strike and he drops it. Right, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. This one is incomplete. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. Set, right in. Got 
got it. And he goes down quickly. Scrambling around, and he's going to be sacked. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. Third and long. This defense digs in here, and it could be their ball game. Just over a minute left. Halfback's got another quick throw. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. From the 47-yard line, second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. did not get to the first down marker. Old time football today. Low scoring defensive battle and it's final. 17-13, Kansas State. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.